Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hogue. Today we're going to talk about why you may be having reading problems and what can be done about them. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please uh, like it uh, on Facebook. And uh, please like the page if you haven't liked the page already. We'll be doing more of these. There's quite a few already on there and we'll be doing more as we go along. Um, also, feel free to contact me uh, by phone, 563-386-9494, or check out the website, www.drhogue.com, for more information. Or you can um, instant message me, message me on Facebook Messenger. Uh, I've had a lot of kids come in recently with learning problems. I've treated hundreds of kids over the years with learning problems of various sorts and gotten great results. I had learning problems myself when I was a kid. Uh, I probably would have been diagnosed as ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, when I was a kid if they had that diagnosis back then. But they didn't back in the old days. So they just diagnosed me as being slow. Uh, so it's something I really have a lot of uh, feeling for. And applied kinesiology, which is the specialty technique I do, really turned it around. If I hadn't get, been under AK care, I probably would have never gotten through Palmer College of Chiropractic with the learning problems I had when I was younger. One key thing in learning problems is reading issues. If you can't read, you kind of can't do a lot of things. I thought it'd be good to talk about this in a video if you're having trouble reading, um, because obviously you don't have to read it. But uh, the kind of reading problems we're going to talk about we call ocularly locked. And this is, uh, some symptoms of this is when you're reading you get tired or you fall asleep when you're reading. Uh, you may have to reread what you just read because you didn't quite get it. I mean, you read the words but you didn't really get the meaning. Uh, you may be a very slow reader. Comprehension may be low. Your eyes may jump down the page. This would be particularly annoying if you're taking something like a multiple choice test. You may your eyes may jump down a line, and instead of uh, uh, listing the answer as C, which you knew was the right answer, you may list it as D, because your eyes just jumped down that line. Uh, I've had people come in who just hated reading, because reading was hard for them. Um, if they felt bad about the reading, not only did they feel kind of embarrassed because they couldn't read well, but it actually kind of hurt to read. You know, it, 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 was, it, was, uh, it was stressful. Uh, I had a kid come in one time, you could, he'd rather be punished, spank me, don't make me read. I was very tickled when after treating him for a while, he actually started bringing books in to read my, to my reception out in front because he was so proud that he could read now. Uh, and it's not just kids who have this problem. I, I, I remember a Palmer student that I treated was struggling to get through school. I mean, he was struggling to get C's, you know, and he, and he had never read for pleasure in his life. Now, even with the problems I had when I was a kid, I loved to read. I was a slow reader, but I loved to read, and the, the library was my best friend. So I'd have somebody who was an adult who never read for pleasure kind of blew my mind. And my big reward there was, after a while, he started coming in, and he would bring, he'd bring uh, Westerns in to read uh, while he was waiting in the, in the, in the adjust room. For the very first time, he went in the, in the reception room, very first time in his life that he'd actually read for pleasure. And he went from struggling to get a C to getting easy Bs. He didn't become an A student or anything, but his whole, his whole uh, approach to school changed because he now he could uh, function properly and he could read properly. So this condition called ocular lock uh, can be caused by a lot of different things. There could be problems with some of the cranial nerves that, that work the eyes. These would be the, the second, I mean, it's not the second, the, the third, fourth, and sixth cranial nerves have a lot to do with eye focus and eye motion. And some people have a problem with what's called accommodation. In other words, if, when they try to look from far away like the, like the blackboard and then back down to their papers, looking far away, back again, it really stresses the system out and they just kind of, their mind just goes poo and they, and they can't really focus anymore. That's one type of problem. The other problem is just being able to read, eye skipping. Um, and we have some nice tests for this in the office that we do for ocular lock. Um, and also for the, these accommodation problems with the near and far. Also, we can test to see if your eyes are working together. This is basically not a measure of, of, of visual acuity, like do you need glasses or something, all that, that could be going on. But it's more a matter of how well are the eyes working together. 
And are the, are the eyes able to take in information and your brain able to get that information? And so this is what we do in the office. We do specific testing for this. The testing takes, the, the screen for this takes, you know, just a matter of minutes. It's very, very quick to see if you've got this problem. And if you have this problem or know somebody that does, I really encourage you to have them give us a call or, um, you know, I could say, it's a, you can message me on, on Facebook or, or go to the website and on the contact page, you can, you can contact us that way too. Because this is the problem that's, in most cases, very easy to fix, but it makes a tremendous difference in people's lives. People, as I told you, go from hating to read, avoiding it, only reading we have to, and struggling then to being able to easily and joyfully read and have a good time reading. So if you have any questions, feel free to you put them in the comments section if you have questions, uh, or you can message me, or you can phone us at 563-386-9494, or go to my website, www.drho.com. You can contact me through email that way if you, if you want to also. I'd really love to help you or someone you know be able to read ease, more easily, have more fun, and do better in school. Take care.